Welcome. Thank you for joining me. Greyboard Gamer here with the unboxing, or rather uncanning, of Critters Below from Antler Games. Let's get this can open and see what's inside. Hopefully it's not too difficult to open and I'm not embarrassed. Nope, nope, it's moving. There we go. Got the top off. Got the contents packed in there. Let me move the camera a little bit so we can get a better top-down view. Let's see what we have in here. Oh, heard something fall out. Oh, that's the rule book in there. Yeah. That's everything from inside the can. Put that off to the side. We have a looks like our little airplane. We have our rule book. Ah, those look like player mats. Cloth player mats. It looks like the photos of the silhouette are different on each one. That one looks the same. And then we have a couple stacks of cards here. Oh, that came off separately. Critters Below from Antler Games. Hmm. Ah, I imagine these pockets are where... Yeah, must be where the cards and decks will go and then you can wrap them up and put them back in the can for for storage. Got several decks of cards here. Secured with some rubber bands. Got the mini deck and several of the regular size. Very nice. Oh. That is everything that's inside the can. Oh, let me get that back in frame. If you want to stick around for a few minutes, we'll take a closer look at these items. Let's take a look at the Critters Below rule book. You can see the plane flying over. Ah, takes place in a shelter underground. So you can one to six players, 30 to 60 minutes. Seems to be a light game according to them. Set up storage and discard pile. The shelf. Facilities. Additions. Setting up players. We have those player mats there. Fence. Seems to be a pretty simple rule book to follow. Got an explanation of the different symbols in the game. Alright. Co op rule set, changing the difficulty. So they got different variations of the game. And this is by the people that did Saltlands. I did a playthrough series for that. There's a playlist on my channel. Okay, so that is our rule book. Again, I'm assuming that this is for cards. And these smaller pockets on the side look like they would fit the smaller decks just fine. Again, I don't know if that's what those are for. 
and then the larger, oh, will the larger fit over here? No. So maybe the larger ones go in the center. Maybe they go in sideways. And then if you put these this way, you can flip them over and then they'll bend over like that, maybe, for easy storage. I'll have to mess with it when I have more time, but that appears to be what it is. Because you have four pockets total for the smaller cards and two for the large. And the smaller card stack appears to be about twice as high as the larger cards. So that would make sense as far as a storage solution would go. And we have our player mats. And let's take a quick look here. Oh, those are stitched pretty good. Nice and simple. But it looks like it'll hold together well. I'm definitely not an expert on stitching, so I couldn't tell you what the name of that stitch is or whether or not it's a good solid stitch. This isn't clothing, you're not going to be wearing it, so if it holds up to laying on the table and having cards placed on top of it, then it serves its function just fine. And the material itself, I don't know what I would call it, but it's nice and sturdy. don't think there's going to be any issues with the game falling apart on you unless you're just extremely abusive to your to your games. And like I said, each of the figures on here, with the exception of that like hammerhead shark looking thing, they're all a little bit different. Oh, I thought that was part of the drawing. <laughs> that was just a little piece of string. Very interesting. Let's take a look at these cards. Grab half of the small stack just so I can get an idea for the design on them. The design is very simple, but I like it. Reminds me of the simplicity of the Saltlands material also, but it is very well done. I like the, the art in Saltlands. I'm sure these will convey what they're supposed to quite well. Nice, simple iconography. Got. Critters are kind of frightening looking, aren't they? Like an ant or a roach or something. I don't know if these are mutants because of the bombing, or if this is just an alternate universe of some kind with these creatures. I don't know, this, this is an interesting, really, really digging the art here. These are pretty cool. Oh, Trash Panda. I think the snake, that's what it was. Is that a cat? It's a creepy looking cat. Oh, that's not the back of that one. There's the cat. Oh, are these player aids? Oh, yes, I think they are. Very good. I like a separate player aid, not just part of the 
rule book. Yeah. This really simple, almost, well, monochromatic style of art I really, really like. Looks like it's going to be a fun little game. I have to get my wife interested so we can give this a couple playthroughs in our spare time when I'm not working on something else for the channel. And that was exactly what those were for. You put the large cards in that cards in that middle slot sideways and then the smaller ones on end and then they fold over creating the widest point at the back here and those two stacks of small cards so you got this nice bandolier of cards one half here one half here and they slid right into the can nice and easy no problems at all really really clever good storage design for a interesting shaped game container like that. Well done. Everything went back into the can real easy. Lid went right back on, nice and secure. Those player mats, I folded those up and placed them there here in the bottom part of the can. Then the cards slid. Well, first I put the instruction book in around the inside of the uh, yeah the inside of the can, and then I placed those uh, player mats folded up at the bottom. About that much of it. Then the cards and their little bandoliers there in that circular shape slid right in on the top and there was room enough to drop that little airplane miniature in there with no problem. Lid went right back on without issue. Thank you for watching this unboxing slash uncanning of Critters Below from Antler Games and I'll see you in my next video.